Hi everyone. So let's get started. Uh, so first of all, welcome to you all. Uh, you are welcome. show Sukhman and Utkarsh. Ke liye hai. Um, Sukhman and Utkarsh have been our toppers, as you would have seen, uh, linear rank 45 and 46. Utkarsh has joined. Uh, I think so. Sukhman is going to join shortly. Um, so we're going to get started. We already have Utkarsh. So let me get started with my introduction. I'm Ajay Nagar. I'm the Vice President for IT and Junior Division at Resonance. So here we are really want to make the motivation level high for all of you so that in this time of pandemic, jab kafi lockdown hai, things are much smoother for you. So this is why we thought the interactions kafi zaruri hai. Uh, students and uh, ex resonites who have already done this been there done that and uh, and more actually so here we have utkarsh with us so i will just uh, request utkarsh to turn off on his video which is he already has and uh, please provide his introduction if possible utkarsh over to you yes sir so uh, i am utkarsh agrawal i joined resonance in 2016 uh, in 11, in 11th class so when I came to Kota, I I gave my J in 2018 and uh, I got uh, the J advanced rank as uh, 45. I qualified NTSC and uh, KVPY while at uh, Resonance. And uh, I am currently at uh, IIT Bombay Computer Science Branch. So that's it. Utkash, or kuch bhi bata sakta hai? Sukhman bhi aagya hai, so uh, you know, thoda baat aur, so that humari viewership thodi se engage aur ho. Um, so, uh, Vaisa mene puzzles rakhi hai tum dono ke liye, so that we will start with that also. Just mein Sukhman ka waiti kar raha tha. Yes. Extracurricular activities, kuch bhi, anything? Uh, so, extracurricular, uh, I like to read novels a lot and uh, I like to play table tennis. Uh, other than that, like I love to cycle, I love to swim. Just, uh, like... <laughs> regular stuff, yeah, regular stuff, hai, regular stuff. Hai. <laughs> okay, uh, so now over to you, Sukman. Sukman, uh, I think so. You're already here. Yes, just a minute. Uh, let me join from my laptop so I can turn on my video. Sure, sure. We'll we'll wait wait for that. There are a lot of questions. Bahut sare questions hai, Utkarsh and Sukman. Um, and in fact, mere bhi kuch questions hai. I still remember uh, the way we trained for KBPY. <laughs> oh okay. my God. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so uh, that's a common feature. Sabki training hoti hai. And I uh, remember you now, sir. You have taught me what you have taught me. What you have How to give an interview and how to really talk about other things. I think so. Sukhman is joining from the laptop. In the meantime, just. Tab tak ek question ho jaye Utkarsh se. Yes. Sir. So Utkarsh, how how has the life changed for you? This is a question that I'm asking myself. This is a question from from my side because it's been what three four years now, three years at least that you have passed out from uh, you know resonance and I would not say passed out from resonance, but you have left resonance and actually been to an IIT. So how is it? Our Khaskar, you know, Dear Sal, you were there and then then pandemic came. Um, how you have, how has the life changed for you? So, uh, like, like there are, uh, like there is no uh, fixed schedule exactly right now. So we get a lot more opportunities like uh, it is not even fixed uh, that uh, we can try out lots of things. And uh, time is very lenient. Uh, in a general sense, uh, it has become much more relaxed. And uh, like, uh, especially for the past one and a half year, it has been completely different. Abhi toh, mitlab, everything is from the desk. 
सो अच्छा ऐसा ऐसा पूछता हूं मैं वॉट डू यू थिंक वुड बी मोर टफर खासकर आज हमारे जो व्यूअरशिप है उसके परस्पेक्टिव से पूछूंगा वॉट इज मोर टफर डू यू थिंक स्टडिंग फॉर आई आई टी ऑनलाइन और स्टडिंग इन आई आई टी ऑनलाइन वॉट डू यू थिंक इज टफर इट इज नॉट एबल इट इज नॉट इजी टू कंपेयर बट हाँ मतलब आई आई टी में आके हो जाता है टेंशन हट जाती है तो that factor is there okay okay fair and so i think so, so that's a, that's a fair uh, assessment i know it's not comparable as such kyunki dono cheeze comparable nahi hongi uh, so sukhman uh, uh, you're all set yes am i audible yeah you're audible oh what a lovely color turban yaar yeah. gaza maza aa gaya maza aa gaya So seeing you after a long time, मतलब face to face रूबरू तो पता नहीं कितने सालों बाद हो रहे हैं last yes, तभी मिले थे हाँ चार साल हो गए खासकर के वी पी आई इंटरव्यू के तो चलो सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट सुखमन इफ यू कैन गिव यूर इंट्रोडक्शन सुखमन एंड देन वील गेट स्टार्टेड विद क्वेश्चन सो आई एम सुखमन फ्रॉम बठिंडा पंजाब आई सिक्योर्ड एर फोर्टी सिक्स इन जे एडवांस टू थाउजेंड एटीन प्रेजेंटली आई एम यू जी थर्ड ईयर इन सी एस सी आई आई टी बॉम्बे साथ ही हो यार तुम दोनों तो बिल्कुल ही ऑब्वियसली ओके इन फैक्ट मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स जनरली प्रिफर सीएसआईटी बॉम्बे सो एक क्वेश्चन जो मैंने अभी उत्कर्ष से पूछा था सेम क्वेश्चन टू यू दिस इज हाउ विल गेट स्टार्टेड हाउ इज द लाइफ चेंज फॉर यू एंड यू नो कैसे लाइफ चेंज हुई है फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लाइक वेन यू केम टू रेजिन एंड देन गोइंग फॉरवर्ड फिर कॉलेज एंड देन पैंडमिक वाला कॉलेज सो स्कूल में तो लाइक लाइक एवरीबडी एल्स थोड़ा रिलैक्स होता था देन वी केम टू रेजिडेंस एंड थोड़ा कॉम्पिटिटिव इन्वायरमेंट में हम रहे एंड एवरी डे वॉज अ चैलेंज देयर बट इंजॉय करने को भी काफी मिलता था वहाँ पे दोस्तों के साथ सो दैट थिंग इज नॉट चेंज एवरी डे स्टिल इज द सेम एवरी डे इज अ चैलेंज पर अब पेंडेमिक की वजह से दोस्तों के साथ नहीं है उतना but uh, the main thing that has changed is the scope for which you are studying like pehle humme bas study karte the ki hame je hi nikal le ab hum ab hum study karte hain for knowledge and uh, aage thoda acha perform kar paaye but uh, the intensity of study has reduced pehle zyada hota tha pehle in width kam thi like we had to study less things but we had to study them extremely thoroughly uh now we can, we have to study a wider scope of things but we can say that the intensity has reduced ye zarur keh sakte hain baki pandemic time pe uh i think jo apne utkar se pucha tha studying for iit is definitely tougher because aap teachers ke sath waise interact nahi kar sakte hum to aapke sath hi rehte the to kabhi bhi aapke sath movie dekhne chale gaye ya aise kuch theek hai matlab thoda acha rehta tha relax hone ke liye but वो चीज थोड़ी मुश्किल है अब हमारे को ये समझ में है कोई खराब बात नहीं है दिस इज ओके दिस इज सब बीत जाएगा थिंग्स विल बी मच बेटर जस्ट स्टे मोटिवेटेड स्टे अलॉन्ग एंड थिंग्स विल मूव ऑन अच्छा इमेजिन करो बाय द वे आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू मेक दिस अंट कॉलेज इज कंसिडरिंग आई ऑल्सो एम एन आई आई टी एंड आई स्पेंड फोर ईयर्स इन कॉलेज रेगुलर कॉलेज see the the one good thing is like i spent four years like but one uh, one bad thing for uh, sukman and utkarsh is unke college ke 4 saal mein se 1.5 saal unhone literally pandemic mein guzar rahe hain that's not fair i mean you still have a possibility ki aapke 4 saal regular honge so imagine yaar 4 saal mein se 1.5 saal nikal jana that's that's something right so uh, totally agree with that So let's start with questions. मैंने एक रैपिड फायर भी रखा है वैसे तुम दोनों के लिए कंस्ट्रिंग यू यू बोथ आर यू बोथ आर गुड फ्रेंड्स आल्सो सो ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विद सजल अवस्थी का एक क्वेश्चन है हाउ टू स्टे मोटिवेटेड फॉर द टाइम ऑफ टू इयर्स इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग जर्नी एंड वील प्ले अल्टरनेट सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद उत्कर्ष सो हाउ टू स्टे मोटिवेटेड फॉर द फॉर द ऑल द टाइम फॉर टू इयर्स yeah so uh, it is very important that 
पूरे दो साल मोटिवेटेड रहना जरूरी है क्योंकि तभी आपका कंसिस्टेंट स्टडी होगा एंड तभी लाइक एक प्रॉपर लेवल अचीव कर सकते हो आप कि मेन एग्जाम में आप अच्छा करो एंड मोटिवेटेड रहने के लिए लाइक इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट कि आपको क्लियर होना चाहिए कि आप किसके लिए पढ़ रहे हो एंड लाइक वाई आर यू स्टडिंग सो लाइक दैट इनहेरेंटली विल गिव यू अर मोटिवेशन कि लाइक दैट इज वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू अचीव सो लाइक आई विल हैव टू वर्क हार्ड फॉर दैट एंड सो फॉर टू स्टे मोटिवेटेड लाइक और चीजें ऐसे हो सकती कि आप एग्जाम्स देते रहो टच में रहो कि आपको अपने स्टैंडिंग पता रहेगी ताकि आप ओवर uh, हाइप भी ना हो जाओ कि या ओवर कॉन्फिडेंट भी नहीं हो एंड लाइक मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ यही है कि आपको पता होना चाहिए आप किसके लिए पढ़ रहे हो एंड वो कितनी इम्पोर्टेंट आपके लिए सो so, एंड वो लाइक uh, कितनी डिफिकल्ट है तो दैट इट सेल्फ वुड गिव अ मोटिवेशन कि ठीक है काफी uh, like uh, it is a very iit me jana hai iit is a very premium institution and uske liye uh, like it is worth it to stay uh, to consistently study so i think that would be a good motivation so just asking you a very uh, personal question when you were taking the journey of two years yes. kya aap ye sochte the ki yaar jab ho jayega to kaisi feeling aayegi ek feeling hoti hai na ki acha ha ho hi jayega acha theek hai क्या होगा रैंक वैंक ठीक है लेकिन हाँ आई आई टी तो चला ही जाऊंगा इट्स लाइक यू स्टार्ट ड्रीमिंग अबाउट ओके हाउ विल बी द कॉलेज लाइफ ऑल दस ऐसा कुछ होता था हाँ मतलब सर ऐसे एग्जैक्टली कॉलेज के हिसाब से नहीं था कि इसी कॉलेज में इसी ब्रांच में जाना बट था कि हाँ आई टी चले जाएंगे तो फिर काफी uh, ऐसी फीलिंग थी कि हाँ रिलैक्स हो जाएगा लाइक दे वुड बी अस्टेबिलिटी एंड हाँ मतलब ये सब तो रहता था ओके okay. fair call uh, fair question uh, fair perspective actually so let's take the next question uh, the next question is for sukman uh, sukman how to manage school with coaching classes and respective exams ye thoda sa tough ho jayega lekin theek hai lay dekho like uh, the main thing is har kisi ke paas 24 hours hi hai bahut sare log hai jo school <laughs> and coaching center manage karte hain बट आई एग्री इट गेट्स लिटल फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग लाइक आप सोच रहे हो कि देर आर यू मे नो पीपल हु आर नॉट अटेंडिंग स्कूल हु आर ओनली फोकस्ड ऑन कोचिंग बट द मेन थिंग टू नोटिस एयर इज आप अगर ज्यादा टाइम दे रहे हो आपका रिवॉर्ड उसको पक्का मिलेगा लाइक यू डो नॉट गेट डिस्करेज बाय दैट फैक्ट एंड अगर आपको लगता है कि स्कूल में ज्यादा टाइम लग रहा है और आप कोचिंग स्टडी नहीं कर पा रहे हो तो जस्ट कंपेयर द आवर्स ऑफ योर कोचिंग टू योर इंटेंसिटी ऑफ स्टडी लाइक डिवेलप अ मेथड ऑफ रिवॉर्ड एर एनी थिंग लाइक मेरे लिए रिवॉर्ड सिस्टम था लाइक मैं आधा घंटा पढ़ूँ तो फिर रिवॉर्ड ले लिया या फिर कभी ज्यादा पढ़ा है कभी ज्यादा ज्यादा सिलेबस पढ़ा है तो लाइक तीन घंटे पढ़ा फिर एक घंटे का रिवॉर्ड ले लिया लाइक मैं रिलैक्स करता था मेरा मेथड लगता है हर किसी का अपना होता है सो यू हैव टू मेक अ सिस्टम कि आप लाइक तीन घंटे लगातार ज्यादा टाइम जो आपके स्कूल के बाद बचते हैं उसमें बहुत इंटेंसली पढ़ो इंटेंसली लाइक कंप्लीटली कंसंट्रेटेड आपको पता है कि आपके दिन में क्या शेड्यूल है मेरा ये चीज मुझे आज कंप्लीट करनी है आप उस हिसाब से सेट करो एंड आप करो एट इट्स इनफ लाइक आपको यू डोंट हैव स्टडी टेन आवर्स अ डे टू अचीव वेरी गुड रैंक अगर आप इवन फाइव सिक्स आवर्स दे पा रहे हो बट यू स्टडी एक्सट्रीमली कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड देन यू आर गुड वेरी गुड आंसर सुखपन आई थिंक सो यू नो क्लैप्स बनती है आंसर के लिए तो बहुत ही सही शुरुआत ही ऐसी हुई है गजब सो वेरी नाइस आंसर बिल्कुल सही है मतलब दैट्स अ रियलिस्टिक आंसर ऑल्सो सो अब हम अपने व्यूअर्स के पास जाते हैं वी गिव देम एन अपॉर्चुनिटी हेयर टू एक्चुअली आस्क यू क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली राइट हेयर सो गौरव सिंह हैज रेज इज हैंड आई एम आस्किंग यू टू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ गौरव यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन Gaurav Singh, you can ask your question, please. Okay, seems like Gaurav is not there, so we'll go to Sujay Sonar. Sujay, I'm asking you to unmute, please. Good morning, sir. 
गुड मॉर्निंग सुजय सो माय क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू स्टार्ट जे प्रिपरेशन फ्रॉम क्लास 9 एंड हाउ टू फोकस ऑन नॉन रूटीन मैथमेटिक्स हाउ टू फोकस ऑन नॉन मैथमेटिक्स नॉन रूटीन मैथमेटिक्स नो आई कुड नॉट हियर दैट प्रॉपर्ली टू बी ऑनेस्ट नॉन रूटीन मैथमेटिक्स नॉन रूटीन मैथमेटिक्स यस सर व्हाट इज नॉन रूटीन मैथमेटिक्स इफ आई मे अंडरस्टैंड anyway i don't have to answer it so if our uh, utkarsh uh, this one is for you uh, so uh, think, sir, yeah he's in ninth so, class uh, yeah. i think by non routine he means uh, like not in curriculum maybe ah okay okay so uh, so ninth is uh, like uh, a pro- good time but uh, like not to be uh, really serious but uh, like uh, okay nine se agar start karna hai then uh, uh, you can start uh, doing um, problem books like you can uh, there are multiple books out there uh, you can do r d sharma and others you can uh, you can read up hcb like uh, you can get a head start basically uh, like complete the Ten syllabus, uh, the physics, chemistry, and maths portions, if you can. Uh, basically, uh, do some competitive uh, questions, books. Uh, maybe try for uh, junior science. So that would help build you a strong basics in physics, chemistry, and maths. So that could help you. And for non-routine. I would I would agree. Actually, non-routine में मैं थोड़ी सी मदद कर देता हूँ उत्कर्ष की इस मामले में भी. So what happens is uh, in class ninth we feel that we have our basic understanding of mathematics say uh, correctly, especially the terminology. But uh, and I think so Sukhman and Utkarsh both would agree. Uh, question जब हमारे सामने आता है ना तो our aptitude level of deciphering that question into mathematical equations is the actual core. thing that we are trying to understand and learn even aage ki jo journey hoti hai 11th and 12th ki that is also the same and that is called pattern recognition so example main do to agar iit ke exam mein first time the question comes to you in front of you and you do not know the pattern to really solve it you might be able to solve it not that i'm saying you will ki solve nahi hoga but shayad time zyada lagega aur time ek tarah se waste hoga so patterns ko samajhna क्लास नाइन्थ में बहुत जरूरी है पैटर्न रिकॉग्निशन आर बहुत और ऐसा नहीं है कि दिस इज दिस इज हर जना हर जने के लिए ये नेचुरल होता है सो पीपल हु हैव साइंटिफिक ब्रेन और हु हैव इंक्लिनेशन टूवर्ड साइंस दे डेवलप दैट ऑल्सो सो आई वुड से दिस इज हाउ पॉसिबली उत्कर्ष ऑल्सो हैज गॉन थ्रू नाइन्थ एंड सुखमन हैज ऑल्सो गॉन थ्रू नाइन्थ एंड दिस इज हाउ द डेवलपमेंट हैपन्स सो आई वुड रियली फोकस ऑन द डेवलपमेंट Rather than thinking that I have to solve what books to solve, and the pattern recognition part, I think so. Utkarsh, you can continue with what uh, with this area where you know how realistic you find this. That here in ninth class, me, ye to develop karlo pehle, because baad me terminologies ka bada difference hota hai. Acha, ye kya hota hai? Bhul jaate hain. So maybe that is uh, the direction that you can suggest, Sujay. So for pattern recognition, I don't think that uh, solving of books. or something would directly help you can uh, like maybe focus on mental ability yeah for some part so things like that help so just practice more uh, don't try to just be focused on pcm so like mental ability also really helps it even helps directly in uh, some exams also and other than that like pattern recognition and just developing your mind that's 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 good i think so that will be a fair answer for sujoy okay so we'll just take one more uh, mr vishal yadav i'm asking you to unmute please please ask your question i've asked you to unmute vishal yadav hello sir can you hear me yeah we can hear you loud and clear uh, sir my question was uh, what are the imp- uh, means oh, in, in uh, resonance books there are three exercises so 
like if someone has less time to cover that chapter so what are the important exercises one can attempt to uh, cover it in less time like exercise one two three that type sukman you want to answer this question even though kafi samay ho gaya hoga wo sheets wagaira dekhe hue but still can you repeat it main thoda cut off ho gaya tha beech mein okay so uh, what are the important exercises of resonance books uh, that we can uh, solve to uh, cover the chapter in uh, less time okay so i think exercise 1 was introductory uh, exercise 2 was a bit more in depth and exercise 3 was previous year questions right if i am if i am right yeah right. yeah yeah so uh, right. if uh, suppose like if you are doing it for the first time and you don't have much time to prepare mm-hmm. i would recommend solving the first part of each question from exercise 1 like to get into to get introduced to the topic and then uh, solve like a random uh, random parts of each question from exercise 2 like you don't have to do exercise 3 uh, because you may want to reserve that when you have much more time so you can go through the questions more thoroughly think about them some more more but if you want to quickly prepare like you ask like doing this strat works like i know uh, sometimes it happens like tomorrow is the exam and till today i have not covered the syllabus so it happens like uh, so to do that this is what i did you just go through that as quickly as you can if you don't think that you don't have time to even uh, solve some questions then i would recommend instead of rushing through the theory and getting the time to uh, solve some questions it would be better to first understand the theory completely and maybe not like you shouldn't it shouldn't happen that uh, you skipped some part of the theory now and later you don't have good time to go back to that uh, like this shouldn't be the case like a temporary test does not matter it you may perform worse on that but you shouldn't half heartedly do things like this like either you make complete time for it or uh, you just focus on what you can do properly Uh, i i understand that uh, this thing happens a lot sometimes but please make sure like it should not become a habit that's, that's what i'm thanks sukman so vishal i hope uh, your question is answered so now we'll take the questions from uh, uh, our uh, people who have already sent the questions so this one uh, i'll just again go back to sukman only so this is from uh, i believe it's mr rudra agarwal um it's a very standard question i had not worked much hard in class 11th even i had not attempted sheets and dpps now currently in class 12th i am doing all that how can i com- uh, compete with others okay so uh, the best thing uh, here to do would be like suppose uh, you cannot devote your entire time to class 12 now like because you have uh, some backlogs so what you need to do is uh, divide 80 20 that's what i think like 80% time you devote to your daily preparations your tests but make sure that in that 20% time you first are able to complete the entire theory uh, if you are uh, you may not be able to complete every dbp that you have left behind because it was daily and it's not humanly possible to do all that in 20% time but the exercise sheets and the notes you have created those are the main thing to focus now like you uh, like some uh, concepts you may remember very well so uh, it might be the case that you don't need to uh, revise the theory of those concepts so you can just focus on the uh, practicing those but uh, like the ones that are your weakness you do need to remember those because for me it was pcm and probability and uh, i had to uh, spend a lot of time to remove those weaknesses because in 11th class i too had not uh, done that very well so uh, that's how i recovered those backlogs you have to give extra time to those weaknesses nearing the end uh, of your 12th class but as you go on this is how you should like i'm not i'm not saying that this is exactly how you should do everyone has a unique perspective of solving their own problems but uh, like you should make sure that you give some fraction of your week or your day or a month to uh, recovering those backlogs because it just won't do if you don't 
uh, like if you just skip those. That's it. Thanks, Sukman. Thank you. Uh, so this was a question from uh, Mr. Rudra Agarwal. Uh, the next question is for Utkarsh. Uh, Utkarsh, this is a question from Sohan Roy. Uh, he's asking what to do when you are not able to solve tough questions, even though the concepts are clear, especially on, in maths. So, uh, uh, so uh, first of all, the first thing should be that uh, you need to clear your concepts because uh, it is okay to some extent if you're not able to do the tough questions, but first you should focus on the easy and the normal questions. So uh, uh, it should not be the case that uh, uh, you are worrying about the tougher questions, but uh, you are still uh, not able to do the easy and the medium questions uh, to the very best. So uh, the first thing would be to uh, brush up your concepts uh, very well. Uh, like there should not be any loophole in that and you should be able to do the uh, easy and the normal questions uh, pretty well so that alone makes up a, like a very large majority of the paper so uh, the tough questions are there so uh, they are there to differentiate uh, on a higher level but like the majority are the uh, easy and the normal question. So first of all, focus on that. And then uh, for the tougher questions. So first, uh, if your concepts are uh, clear, uh, that would help. And um, then you can focus on uh, doing various types of problems like uh, attempt past year papers, attempt some uh, more and more problems from problem books, like, uh, for, like something out of a sheet or something, maybe uh, old questions. So something that is uh, the questions which are not uh, routine or seen by you and uh, again here it would be uh, like very important that you first complete the sheets uh, completely and then like think about uh, going for uh, extra past year question papers or uh, like any extra uh, questions in general so yeah like practice would be very essential and uh, having your concepts uh, like very solid is uh, important. Thanks, Utkarsh. Uh, we have broken down very, very nicely. It's, uh, I think so. It's very simple. Let's start with the easy ones. Let's check. Are your concepts really clear? If you feel that's the case, look at questions that have not been seen by you earlier and then proceed forward. So very nicely structured and answered. So that's a, that's a great job. Thank you. So ab thoda sa masti time hai. Uh, so let's see. So dono se sawal puche jayenge. Thoda sa rapid fire. So Utkarsh ka favorite color? Blue. Blue. Sukhman, favorite Green. color? Green. Green. Okay. Uh, who do you think was more intelligent according to you? Out of the you two? किसने ज्यादा मस्ती मारी उस दो साल की जर्नी में ये तो पता मुझे सुखमन ये तो तेरे को मानना पड़ेगा किसने ठीक है भाई Sukhman was true to the flavor. He was living his life. Mazadar. So, okay. Kaun abhi zyada masti maarta hai? Utkash? Sukhman, I, tumhaya, sorry, what name, maarta hai? Name. Is <laughs> bar ulta hai? Is bar ulta hai? Okay, Utkash? Yes, sir. I agree. <laughs> so, this is how life has changed. Aaj ki taza khabar. <laughs> so this was a very quick general uh, perspective of how things have changed. So coming back to our viewership, let's uh, give opportunities to various uh, people to ask uh, more questions. So we have, uh, I'm just uh, asking Aditya Vasu to unmute. Aditya, if you're there, you can ask your question. Aditya Vasu. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hello. 
much more time in the beginning so uh, try to complete each and everything uh, like there should not be a backlog which uh, creates a problem later on uh, try to uh, like uh, solidify your uh, your uh, concepts in the uh, starting part because uh, like uh, it happens with uh, most of us that we do not uh, there is some uh, mismanagement in the 11th class and which uh, creates a lot of problems and the, like we backlog ko hi hum cover karte reh jate and it creates a lot of problem in the 12th so 11th ke liye wahi ki uh, concepts kafi acche se kar rahe time jyada hai to extra questions jitne kar sakte kar kare kyunki uh, fir it helps to boost the confidence also a lot so that would uh, that would really help in the uh, two years and yes uh, so that's it like maintain a schedule uh, starting with uh, like there is coffee uh, come load hota hai so don't get carried away maintain a schedule start uh, like become disciplined so it really helps uh, if you are in the flow so like get a good start that is what i will say thanks sukash just my two cents here yeah uh, i think sukman you want to uh, add to that yeah i i want to do add something like uh, shuru mein thoda load kam hota hai like sukash said so what you can do is uh, suppose for me i like i found i found physics very interesting so what i did was main hcv uh, part 1 80% complete kar deta shuru mein shuru ke din mein बिकॉज क्योंकि आप इक्वेंट हो रहे होते हो सो द इंस्टीट्यूट वोट पुट मच लोड ऑन यू और आपके पास फ्री टाइम काफी बचेगा आप शुरू में तो हमारे तो अल्टरनेट डेज होते थे तो इसलिए थोड़ा हेड स्टार्ट मिल जाता है फिर अच्छी मतलब एक बाकी इट्स अप टू एवरी इंडिविजुअल टू डिसाइड बट इट्स अ गुड प्रैक्टिस टू ऑल्सो कीप सम ऑफ द ओलम्पियड इन माइंड लाइक एन एस सी ई पी एन एन एस सी like just uh, not specifically preparing for them if you are preparing for a iit those will automatically uh, get covered but you should uh, try to attend those you should try to attend, uh, prepare for kvpy like that gives you a certain boost even if you are not able to uh, like qualify for them that certainly prepares your mindset when you face the final competitive exam uh, like aapko je hi fir first time hi lagega aapko lagega aisa kuch kiya hai maine pehli that would be a good much best to do that okay that's a that's a fair uh, uh, answer given by both of them so let's see we have uh, janvi tripathi i am asking uh, you to unmute and ask your question please and this question will be for sukman hello sir hello yeah jan yeah please go ahead Uh, sir, what are the measures that should be taken a drop year? Because a single mistake may lead to a fault. For a drop year, okay. Yes, sir. So, okay. please. Okay, so uh, okay, uh, okay. So uh, please don't put that kind of pressure on yourself. Uh, like you too, you must not think that a single mistake might do it because. everyone gives their best your job your job is not to like you shouldn't be that focused on your like what i am trying to say is you should perform your best 
please do not concern yourself with the results just do your best every day do uh, like you should uh, work on your weaknesses you know you have uh, already given uh, the exam once you know what went wrong what uh, uh, what were the areas you were lacking focus on that do not leave the areas you were good at behind like you, it can happen that uh, like some some people i know like they only focus on the weaknesses then the strength becomes their weaknesses that that uh, that happens so uh, do uh, like practice everything regularly and uh, just do your best do not think that uh, do not put that kind of pressure on yourself that's what i would like to say fairly said uh, sukman uh, just to add the more to it uh, if you start thinking and uh, we will be having a session at a later point of time about how to uh, stop this anxiety levels and stuff because psychologically ye sari cheeze sukhman and utkarsh ko already batayi jati thi ki acha bhai dekho ye yaar ye samjho waisa samjho so they were already acquainted with that but uh, yes we understand the true picture we understand the psychology kaisa hota hai kab हजार बार मन में डाउट आएगा कि यार मेरे से नहीं होगा मेरे साथ नहीं हो सकता और एक हजार एक बार ये आना चाहिए अरे कैसे नहीं होगा बस एंड दैट्स ऑल दिस इज अ सिंपल ट्रिक होगा दिस इज ह्यूमन नेचर ऐसा लगता है नहीं होगा बट हो जाएगा इफ यू परसिस्ट विद इट ना आती हुई चीज भी हो जाती है और एक्चुअली इंपॉर्टेंट बात यह है समझने की बात आई थिंक सो सुखमन एंड उत्कर्ष कैन वाउच फॉर मी आई कैन वाउच फॉर माई सेल्फ ऑल्सो हम लोग ये जो एक्सरसाइज करवाते हैं ना ये सारी जो Uh, इतना ज्यादा प्रेशर और ज्यादा प्रेशर जैसा बताया अभी उत्कर्ष ने कि सर अब तो अब रिलेटिवली हम स्टेबल हैं स्टेबल नहीं हो आदत पड़ चुकी है उतना प्रेशर झेलने की एक्चुअली सो इट्स लाइक ऑल यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इज यू हैव टू वो थ्रेश पार तक पहुंचना है थ्रेश पार हो गया तो ऑटोमेटिकली तो सब सही है फिर सब नॉर्मल है हाँ ठीक है दे दो तो दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स आर जस्ट टेक इट लाइटली जैसा सुखमन ने कहा यू विल बी एबल टू हैंडल द प्रॉब्लम एंड द कंडीशन मच बेटर if you are cool calm and planned in your efforts so this is what uh, i would suggest and really echo with the, what sukman said so totally agree uh, and just just come out zyada complicated mat banao hai bhi nahi zyada complicated you will be able to attain whatever you are able to attain only usse zyada waise bhi nahi ho payega i mean uh, so look at na yaar exam mein aur mehnat kari are aapke paas jab exam tha तो आपने 100% ही दिया है क्योंकि उस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम तो उससे अच्छा नहीं कर सकते थे दैट्स हाउ लाइफ इज सो इट्स ओके जस्ट डोंट स्वेट इट आउट इट्स ओके ओके सो वी विल गिव मोर ऑप्शंस सो अब्दुल आई एम सॉरी आपका मैं लास्ट नेम मैं ठीक से शायद प्रोनाउंस ना कर पाऊं इसलिए मैं ट्राई भी नहीं करूंगा बट आई एम आस्किंग यू टू अनम्यूट अब्दुल इफ यू कैन आस्क योर क्वेश्चन और अब्दुल इज नॉट रेज द हैंड सो मे बी द पर्सन इज नॉट देयर नो वरीज so we have oh sherlock holmes so ye wala to sherlock holmes jo hamare reader hain utkarsh unke liye hi jana chahiye ye question so uh, sherlock holmes uh, whatever your name is uh, real name i'm assuming it's not sherlock holmes you can ask your question please good morning sir good morning okay actually i wanted to know if we can't qualify je means then uh, what should we do Utkarsh, you want to take this uh, answer, or should I take this one? This is a very generic thing. Would be difficult to answer. <laughs> okay, I will take this one. Okay, so uh, uh, what's your name, by the way? First of all, I would start with that. Well, sir, my name is Shonam Bhattacharya. Shonam, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, Shonam. Shonam. So let's start with IIT, NIT, or engineering is not the end of life. Okay. Hmm. Yes. there are so many opportunities you have to understand i would not talk about your passion because that is your plan a right yes sir here we are here so that we can so i always suggest we will be having a session later this is all about utkarsh and sukman right now uh, so that yes. they can answer the questions but fundamentally you have to understand what is the profession that you want to take so that you get paid and you have a good healthy living when i say healthy it i mean from a financial perspective so that you can support your family and support your lifestyle also anything whether you take arts whether you take commerce whether you take science or in science also if if i say if you want to become a doctor or you want to become an engineer 
See, in life, no matter what, the amount of money that you, are, you will actually earn is the same. It's just that when you will be getting that money. For example, let's say artists or who are in art stream and they get the money later in their lives. Yes. Like journalism is, is very good. Uh, I talk about, so there's so many things. You know, if you, even if you're an artist, I can tell you one of my IIT seniors, just immediate senior, after IIT, he became a painter and he has his uh, exhibitions in New York City. So this is how things end and this is how life changes you because in India, we do not get an opportunity to really choose what we want to do till we are in IIT or we are in a very, very good college where things have changed. You know, you have your own perspective, what you want to do. One of my batchmates, he passed out from IIT, uh, did his MBA from uh, I am Kolkata. And then he became a journalist in Economic Times. I mean, okay, so, so life is like that. It's, this is not the end of anything. This is not the beginning of anything. It's just a stopgap in your life. So just enjoy it. You, you talk about commerce, same thing. CAs earn a lot. Okay. There are actuarists, yes. actual uh, sciences, actually a combination of science and uh, um, what do you call it? commerce because economics is there. So it's like probability with, so in actual science, people are very nicely paid. You know, that's another thing. That's a very different profession altogether. Then you talk about engineering. Engineers, again, coding is one area. Uh, there are project management areas. There are uh, analyst areas. There's so many areas. Then you talk about doctors. Again, doctors don't earn money very at the very onset, but at a later point of time, they earn a lot of money because then they've learned a lot. So it's all about investing your time in something that you like, and you are able to persist with that for a longer time, longer duration. So this is what would be your answer. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Make sense? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So next question, um, I would request uh, Mohammed Ibrahim. I'll, uh, I will, I'm asking you to unmute. You can ask your question, Mohammed Ibrahim. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Sir, my uh, question is, how can we manage time in J advanced exam more effectively? Okay. Utkash, do you want to take this one? Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, so, uh, uh, you take you give a lot of exams in your coaching, like uh, in your 11th and 12th, you give a lot of exams which are on the same pattern. So, uh, first of all, try to uh, like make a plan, uh, implement it during your exams, and uh, that would give you the best idea that uh, what is working for you and what is not. So, uh, after that, there are a lot of things that you should keep in mind that. Uh, First of all, like everyone would have told you, do not uh, stick to a question for a for a very long time. Like, do not uh, do not waste time. Try to uh, see that you do not uh, go much further than your uh, average three minute per question timing. And uh, I would say that uh, maintain a very specific pattern uh, in which order do you want to go. Like, uh, I would tell you mine. Uh, I used to do chemistry first uh, because it uh, because it usually finishes uh, in like 40 to 50 minutes. 50 minutes is like very rare. Uh, it would like it would finish uh, much before one hour. So you have more than uh, two hours for uh, remaining two subjects. Then uh, then you could choose according like uh, that is what I'm saying that uh, make a plan. Uh, implement it in various papers uh, that you have. Try to see where you're falling short. Uh, what is the problem? Like uh, with me, it happened that uh, when I attempted maths last, it uh, due to uh, less time, I in the end, I would like start to panic and make a lot of silly mistakes, leave a lot of uh, questions uh, unattended. So I shifted maths to as my second part and did physics at the end. So it helped me a lot. So uh, you could do something like that. And again, uh, do not get stuck on a particular question. Uh, if it is tough, like leave it. So uh, you can't sacrifice a tough question. Uh, 
you can't sacrifice a lot of time for a tough question because that would result in ki aapne last ke teen aasan question chhod diye so the marks are the same for each question so it won't matter if you do a tough question so uh, there are no extra marks for that so uh, like leave it for later uh, come back to the question at the end and like uh, don't be scared to uh, leave questions and skip ahead like it happened with me in je as well i went to maths uh, so the ordering was such that uh, initial four or five questions of my first paper in maths were like very tough i had to leave uh, four of the first five questions uh, in the first round of attempting so uh, like don't get disheartened by seeing tough questions that okay i am not able to do i must sit and do the question like now if you the question is would be tough for everyone so like leave the question if it is uh, becoming too tough like uh, i had it in the maths paper i went to the physics paper so what actually happened was that the physics paper was uh, comparatively very easy i finished it in like a lot less than an hour i think 40 45 minutes and that gave me uh, a lot of time for maths so like be judicious with your time do not stick to a particular thing uh, and like have a glance at the question paper like uh, and uh, like so you will be able to have an idea of what kind of questions are there and then plan accordingly so so things like that help like doing chemistry in the beginning uh, you will get uh, there is a psychological factor also that uh, you think you have one hour per subject but if you manage to do a subject uh, like in less than an hour and you have more time so you think that okay i have sufficient time you are able to then concentrate you are uh, comparatively cooler but say if you attempt a lengthier subject in the beginning so you have less than 2 hours for two subjects so then the pressure starts building up that okay i am running out of time i have uh, less question even though you know that uh, say in chemistry you will be able to do faster but uh, it builds a psychological pressure then you start making silly mistakes you start like forgetting the concepts so it becomes that situation so again that was what worked for me make a plan make a strategy and like implement it in papers so there are pap- there are a lot of papers for a reason that you are able to not just test your concepts but so, but also test your examination temperament that uh, okay this works for me and uh, i should uh, attempt it in such a in such and such way so like go to go through that process and figure it out okay thanks uh, utkarsh it was a very elaborate answer that was uh, very well articulated also so i would be requesting nandini gera to ask the question hi good morning hi good morning, good morning to you nandini uh, what was your final j advance strategy like one or two months before the उटमन what happened was we had quizzes on every day like each day uh, i think from monday to friday we had a quiz of one and a half hour or two hours which uh, which you know had uh, like we revised entire syllabus twice during those three months with the help of those quizzes and uh, during the weekends we had uh, acts or like competitive exams which had the entire syllabus and what i did was i uh, like at, by that time you know what the syllabus is you know what your strengths are you know what your weaknesses are so like me my weaknesses were as, as i said before pcm and probability so i practiced a lot of questions on that i also kept revising chemistry every day because 
you just lose like i'm telling you like the day of the exam i thought i would never forget this but one month after that i forgot everything like inorganic i forgot everything like, that is something you cannot skip like you have to revise that after a week or so uh, to keep it permanent in your memory and like uh, so you also have to keep make sure that it doesn't happen that the suppose tomorrow uh, you are revising surface chemistry and some like rbd in physics but you know those are your strengths so it might be the case that you may want to focus that time on your weaknesses like uh, like may be sure with your strategy uh, like as utkar said what are you going to do first how are uh, you going to manage your time all that that has to be fixed in those three months like uh, and uh, one more thing make sure to get plenty of sleep like it won't do if uh, you are like not getting enough sleep you will be sleepy you won't be able to remember what you have studied like that happened with me like uh, what you what happened was for a week i thought i did everything with less sleep but the next week i forgot everything like uh, that won't do like you must uh, manage your sleep cycle you must manage your health and uh, you should keep on revising whatever you have done thanks akman utkash do you want to take this one or we should take another question i think so we should take another question uh, that's uh, sir i had one thing to add like no sure, uh, sure please go ahead yeah so uh, like most of the things were similar but uh, another thing i would say that uh, in the last 2 uh, 3 months try to attempt as many uh, previous year papers uh, in complete sense like uh, don't go for uh, like if I, you are revising rbd i would uh, take i would do the rbd questions but uh, try to take up a paper that uh, say j from 2015 say uh, like and attempt it in a proper uh, j advanced setting like uh, sit for the complete 6 hours and attempt it so that would give you a really uh, good idea and generally what happens is that uh, the those the j papers are uh, comparatively a little easier than what we face in the coachings and also that most of the concepts have been seen in some way or form so uh, like the paper seems to be easy and also uh, since it is it was an actual paper it really gives you a big confidence boost and also prepares exactly what the pattern and like what the paper uh, are like so that is also helpful thing. thanks utkarsh this is very very helpful actually yes i would also uh, vouch for it uh, during the last time as mentioned by both of them we need to revise and then i always suggest one more thing is give the papers for 6 hours and then possibly the next day again just spend like 6 7 hours just revising what you were not able to do what you thought during the exam so so that you can really place yourself and your mind and your actions and find the actual exam things will be much much simpler and easier for you so that's what utkarsh mentioned totally agree with that a fabulous answer by both of them so it's only 4 minutes left and uh, to be honest i really want i'm a, i'm a stickler on time to be honest so uh, i think so uh, ek last question le lete hain so we'll just give uh, priyanshu uh, kanojia an opportunity priyanshu you can ask your question hello sir good afternoon sir good afternoon to you priyanshu it's still actually good morning yes sir ha sir my question is sir how can we study for long hours with full concentration and full efficiency i mean long hours means 5 to 6 hours continuously so sukhman actually sukhman has already shared with that with us but again sukhman if you can share he never Thank did that <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as i said if if that stats shoots to you very good i wasn't able to do more than 2 hours in one sitting like it just wasn't possible for me so what i did was i agree that sometimes you have to like sometimes some days you have to get 12 hours out of the day studying but i can't do it in one sitting so 5 hours absolutely not for me like what i did was like you study for like one, one and a half hour and what you do is uh, 
now you guys have smartphones we didn't have smartphones you watch a video watch a relaxing video for 10 minutes then you again uh, get your gather your motivation again sit through it and make sure uh, that uh, like if you are feeling sleepy or you are feeling tired make sure to take a break it uh, like it will not do you any good to pushing keep pushing yourself when you are not able to actually perform that well uh, like drink water drink plenty of water actually uh, that really helps and uh, take a walk uh, like come back and that make sure that uh, you are able to achieve your goal of the day like your goal sh- like for me the goal was not the amount of time i spent but the amount of work i had to do suppose i thought that i had to revise these notes today however i do it like i th- sometimes like i study for one hour and i like it was not working out so i just skipped one hour and then i tried again and maybe the concentration Uh, helps that time and we don't even know when two hours got like passed away then that is the kind of concentration you need and that is the kind of environment you need like just pushing yourself when you are tired that is not the way to revise things according to me yeah, like, that's what you should do thanks sukman utkarsh your views on this so uh yeah i think that uh, it is not always feasible to sit for uh long like long durations like 4 or 5 hours in one sitting uh like have a take a break in every one or two hour uh a 5 10 minute break or 15 minute break uh do whatever like helps you uh lay down uh preferably walk for some time uh, especially in this time like uh, most of the lectures and notes are like online we, you most probably might have to be on a screen so uh take the eyes off off the screen uh, maybe like just uh, take a walk or uh, do something refreshing or just like sit down you just take a small break it would help uh, like help with your concentration and uh, again if you are feeling really tired then don't uh, sit for uh, like sit uh, compulsorily for a long time uh, maybe like have some rest have a sleep for half an hour or one hour just like take a nap get refreshed and like take regular breaks so that would help you sit for longer duration rather than going for a very long period like four or five hours in one sitting so that is more tiring and like did not work out for me as well thanks utkarsh so considering i'm the third iitian here so main apni real story ye batata hu so i utkarsh aur sukman are talking about 2 hours 2 2 ghante main 15 minute padhta tha 15 minute padhne ke baad 15 minute mein literally ek ball bandh li thi aur bat tha usse bas knocking karta rehta tha 15 minute theek hai kyunki i was so into sports i was uh, you know some of you might not know i was a national squash player at, at that point of time मेरे टाइम पे यही होता था कभी तो एनीथिंग uh, जो भी कोई स्टिक मिल जाए बस उससे बस नॉकिंग करते थे खुद ही बॉल स्पिन करते थे खुद ही खेलते थे कोई होता नहीं था कोई खेलने के लिए बट दिस इज हाउ वी टू सेल्फ सस्टेन एंड दैट वाज वेरी रिजुविनेटिंग दैट वाज लाइक हाँ हो गया मजा अच्छा अब मैं बैठ के वापस पढ़ लेता हूँ दैट वॉज नॉट इवन एग्जॉस्टिंग माई बॉडी एंड पंद्रह मिनट पंद्रह मिनट करते करते देन आई इंक्रीज दैट अमाउंट समी आज द क्वेश्चन है कि यार सर इलेवेंथ क्लास में कैसे पढ़ना है you might not want to study but the essence of learning should be there aur 15 minutes karte 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 wo 30 minutes 45 minutes fir 15 minute ka break fir 1 ghanta fir 15 minute ka break and so on and this is how you have to structure and you have to get into that groove uh, not that you know pehle din sukman ne bilkul 3 ghante bilkul jhande gaad diye aisa kuch nahi kiya hoga sukman ne bhi ya utkarsh ne bhi aisa kuch nahi kiya hoga dheere dheere hota hai it's a it's a progression so try and understand एफिशियंसी तो आएगी आएगी ऑटोमेटिकली बट एफिशियंसी को मौका दीजिए सो दैट योर बॉडी रजिस्टर्स स्टार्ट रजिस्टरिंग बिकॉज थ्रेश होल्ड तभी पार होगी जब बॉडी रजिस्टर करेगी सो विद दिस आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट नाउ यू नो वी हैव टेकन ऑल द क्वेश्चन लास्ट वर्ड्स फ्रॉम उत्कर्ष एंड सुखमन आई विल गिव उत्कर्ष यू नो जो भी कहना है सबसे सो यू कैन सेटली से जस्ट वॉट एवर यू यू फील लाइक as uh, this is session ke 
aakhri cheezon pe please so uh, like i would just say that uh, don't take a lot of pressure uh, like learn to schedule and structure things so it helps in the long run and uh, like be relaxed and you uh, there is sufficient like there is sufficient time there is sufficient material so always learn to like make a schedule be structured and uh, over time it uh, like it uh, sorts out and uh, try to work on your confidence like uh, do not get stressed a lot and uh, i think that uh, being calm at the at the end uh, and uh not being very uh, in a tense mood uh, having confidence in yourself that really plays a uh, much bigger part towards the end so like don't stress too much have a uh, have it all structured and uh, follow a set plan and yeah it would work out great so don't take too much tension thanks utkash sukman so uh what i would like to say to you all is that this time that you experiment with yourself to develop a strategy to get the maximum efficiency out of yourself that is the most important thing that you learn from this time like even in iit when we have to study like i know that this is how i study the best like taking uh, like i said reward system for me like this is how i work the best like developing that strategy is the best thing uh, they can you do for yourself because even after even after right j or even in your job that is how uh, you would you would work after all and uh, one more thing that uh, like uh, when when you uh, qualify for j or iit or any other college uh, i would uh, like recommend that you do enjoy yourself but please uh, remember that you still have to study uh, like uh, of course it's only 40% the amount that you have to do right here in the beginning but you still have to do that like for me i completely left it so uh, i would recommend uh, just keeping along like you have worked so hard uh, for to get there you should know like uh, this uh, it does not come for free after that you have you worked so hard for a reason uh, so yeah that's it thanks sukman thank you uh, thank you both for uh, taking out time from your schedule i would not say busy schedule because <laughs> right now everybody is uh, stuck at their homes but thank you both and it was lovely actually chatting with you after a long time it's been uh, really fabulous and great so Same. thank you thank you thank you and uh, for our viewers uh, we have been doing this uh, for for the past 3 weeks uh, we will be bringing you more other features like that so stay tuned uh, you will be getting more information so if you feel that uh, there is something more that needs to be added you have this email address that you already uh, were, was sent to you you can send your uh, suggestions or any other things and then we are going to start some motivational exercise also and again the meet the toppers is going to continue uh, forward also but for now thank you all and have a nice day thank you bye bye take care